What do you think of the fact that you could soon be paying, well, you will soon be paying 12% on a student loan? That sounds like usury to me. Hi, Liam. Yes, thank you for having me on the show. Um, I think you're absolutely correct. It definitely is a concern to a lot of students. And in particular, higher earning students, this new interest increase is likely to mean that they could be paying off their loans for much longer and over their lifetime. That really could accrue to thousands of extra pounds of repayments. And so I do think it adds an extra element. You know, I myself... I'm a huge proponent for the benefits of university. It's been an incredible opportunity to meet different people from a variety of backgrounds, to learn more about yourself, to develop. But, you know, by implementing these kind of interest rate increases, it may put off students who would hugely benefit from the opportunity to attend a university institution. Neve, let me ask you, to what extent are people... Uh, your friends, your colleagues at university talking about this interest rate increase. We should make clear it, it, it isn't a long-standing increase. A cap comes in in 2023, but it still means if you've got a £50,000 student loan, which isn't unusual, if interest rates go up, you're talking about an extra £3,000 of interest that a young professional person who's graduated has to find over just six months. Are people noticing in the pumps and the clubs and indeed the lecture theatres if you ever actually go to any lectures? <laughs> <laughs> Good to a few. And yes, people are noticing. Um, but I think perhaps the most concerning thing is that not everyone is fully aware of the implications of this. So they'll just see that interest rates are increasing, but they won't know what the full long-term effect of that is for them. For some people, this may not actually have a great impact at all. For others, it could have a really concerning impact on their repayments. I think what it is doing is it's serving as a deterrent to those who don't really understand the system. All they're seeing is this huge spike to potentially 12% in interest rates. And if they don't have a teacher or someone who's informed to really explain to them the pros and the cons of the situation, they may just decide not to attend university. And that actually could be a real loss to sort of society as a whole, to the system. Um, and it is something that we're definitely discussing within our student circles.